How to set transaction priority in MetaMask. When you send a transaction via MetaMask, you're able to set its priority. A transaction's priority makes it more or less desirable for miners to include it in the next block. Since blocks have a fixed size, only so many transactions can be included in one. If there isn't much network activity, great, everyone gets in the block, regardless of priority. But if there is a lot of activity, it's like the Hunger Games for transactions. Those with the highest priority get included in the next block. The rest keep competing, or eventually die. High priority transactions go to the front of the line, so are generally faster and more reliable. Low priority transactions are near the back, running the risk of never going through at all if the network is busy and blocks are full. Luckily, you don't have to worry much about your transaction, as MetaMask will make a speed and fee recommendation, medium, for you, based on network conditions, which offers the best balance of cost and reliability. If you want even better assurance of front-of-the-line access to the next block, you can choose high priority. If you'd like more advanced control, then you're probably a very powerful user who doesn't need this video. Just a reminder that with power comes responsibility. But since you're here, let's go through the advanced settings. Remember that you pay fees to cover the cost of computation related to your transaction. The total fee you pay is a combination of a base fee and a priority fee. The base fee is set by the network. It increases and decreases automatically depending on network busyness. This fee gets burned when it's paid. The priority fee is not burned. Rather, it goes to a miner as an incentive to process your transaction sooner. Kind of like if you imagine a restaurant where you can prepay a larger tip to incentivize better service. The higher the priority fee, the faster your transaction goes through because miners love those tips. In the MetaMask UI, the priority fee is the maximum tip you'd like to give to a miner. The max fee includes both the base fee and the priority fee together. Basically, it's the total maximum you'd be willing to pay. The units you see are in GUE, billionths of an ETH, which pay for each computational gas unit that is consumed during your transaction. What about gas limit? Interacting with complicated smart contracts can require a lot of network processing, and this field gives you a set bound for how much gas a given transaction can consume. Multiply your gas limit by your max fee, and that's the maximum you could pay in GUE for this transaction. That's it. Have fun setting your transaction priority. Or if you're like me, just leave it on the recommended setting. <laughs>